What's up Minecrafters and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft VR, which is Vivecraft, using CurseForge. By the end of this video you're going to know how to play Minecraft VR whilst using CurseForge to install community built resource packs, community built maps, shaders and all kinds of mods to enhance and augment your game. As always, if you have any questions, please do drop them in the comment section and I will get straight back to you. And if this video has been useful for you, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to stick to the channel because next up I am going to be making a video on the best shaders and some of the best mods which are absolutely revolutionary and completely change the way we play the game. So stay tuned. Now the first thing we need to do, I think it goes without saying, is to head over to minecraft.net and to log into our Minecraft account. If you haven't got one, make sure you sign up. And once you've done that, head over to the downloads page and download it for Windows 10 or 11. And once it's downloaded, install it. The installation process is pretty simple. Just agree to the terms and conditions and push install. The install might take a little while, but once it's installed, we'll be ready to move on to the next stage. Now that you have an installed version of Minecraft, you need to play it at least once, and that's to create the background files that Vivecraft and CurseForge are going to need in order to operate. So push that play button and then exit the game. And now we're going to head over to curseforge.com. Don't worry, all the links will be in the description, so check it out. And we're going to make sure that we are logged into an account. Once again, if you don't have an account, then make one. And then we're going to download standalone CurseForge. And just like Minecraft, we're going to install it. Now I would highly recommend you install it in the same drive that you've installed Minecraft, but uh, it might not cause any issues. Once you've installed CurseCraft, of course, make sure that you log into it using your account that you have just created or that you already have. And once we've done that, we will be inside the CurseForge app and this is where all the magic happens. From here, you will be able to select your game, you'll be able to add mod packs, you'll be able to add shaders, you'll be able to add everything you need, including Vivecraft. VR. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now with CurseForge open, we're going to go over to create a new profile. I'm going to call this one MCVR. I'm going to make sure it's the latest version and I'm going to make sure it's Forge. And then I'm going to install it. And basically this is where I will be launching the game from and where I'll be installing my mods, shaders and patches to. And once I've done that, I'm going to select that profile and here we can install everything. So if I hit add more content here, you can see it's done for Forge. It's done for 1.21.4, the latest version of the game. And I can choose mods. I can choose resource packs. I can choose shaders. I can choose worlds if I want. I can choose tons of things and I can add them into the game. What I would suggest though is as you can see, I'm installing Vivecraft right now. Always look at the description of the mod because some of these mods, they might need prerequisites such as Optifine or other things like that. So just have a look at that before you install or else the game might not work for you. And honestly, guys, there are some incredible mods here. In the resource packs, we have fresh animations. We have all sorts of mods. There are thousands of them. They're actually all of the CurseForge mods that you'd normally get off of the website, except they're all nice and neatly packaged in this launcher and installer. So have a look, have a play around, and completely change your Minecraft experience in VR. So guys, now we're going to push the play button and it's going to open up the launcher. If you have a look, it says MCVR. That's the profile that I've just created. So let's hit play and let's have a look at what Minecraft in VR is like. Now, bearing in mind, this is before I've added any textures or any shader packs. This is going to install and download everything required to play. It's usually just the first time. After that, it's much faster. Let's jump into the game. If you're having any issues at this stage, make sure that you have Steam VR running in the background and of course make sure that your headset is connected to the computer. It doesn't matter whether you use Link or whether you use Airlink, 
it's completely up to you. Just make sure your headset is connected to the computer. And of course you're going to see the browser is slightly different. Well, the first time you jump in, you're not going to be in VR. So hit that VR on button and it's going to open up the JDK runner. Now you can't see it, but in my headset, I'm in VR and make sure that you maximize the window so that your hand controls work. If you don't maximize the window on your screen, the hand controllers will not work. And check this out guys, we are playing Vivecraft using Forge and we are ready to go. Now guys, you might be wondering what is the purpose of Forge and the purpose of Forge is to install mods and make it really easy to do so. Here I'm playing an amazing mod called the physics mod and I'm going to show you how to install that at a later point in another video so make sure you do subscribe. Just this mod in particular adds a huge amount of physics to the game. You can now interact with your environment, you can hit trees, you have huge weather systems and storms, the waves are absolutely epic, especially when you go further out to sea. And this is just one of many mods which we'll be installing in the next video. Later on, we'll be seeing some beautiful shaders and we'll be able to make the game look absolutely stunning. So stay tuned guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I really do hope this has been helpful for you. And if it has, hit a like and drop a comment or subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.